Hi everyone, I am back with the 13 Haunted Projects of Halloween series. Today I'm on number 10 and I'm kind of sticking with the rosette theme that we did a rosette wreath last week and today I'm going to show you how I created my boo banner. I'm actually making these for my craft show so I thought it might be fun for you guys to be able to put one together too. Okay, so this is the top part where we have like a little metal hook, made a bow, and then this rosette here. I'm gonna show you some close-ups. This is the first rosette. It has a purple spider, and the letters, I cut them out with my Cricut, and I'll show you which cartridge. Use two scallop circles, and then this confetti here. Um, regular black card stock and then I used some white ink to ink it up okay so that's the B and then the O O I don't know if you're gonna get like the whole thing in here with my camera and that's the bottom part of the ribbon and then it hangs on the wall like so I thought it was really really cute how it came out and I thought you guys might like to make one, and then I'll show you the back. This is how I finished it off, okay, with the ribbon and little scallop circles. So I'm going to show you how to basically, I already have two put together. I have the B and the O for the next one. I'm going to show you how to put one together, and then you can basically do the three. And I'll lay them on the ribbon and show you how, you know, I attached them and stuff. So let's get started. I'm going to hang this so that I don't smash it. Um, let's put it right here. Okay. Now what you're going to need to get started is six sheets of... 3 by 12 inch cardstock. Six sheets of 3 by 12. Then you're going to line them up at the 12 inch and you're going to start scoring them at every half inch. So you would do half inch, one, one and a half, two, two and a half and so on. And then you're gonna fold all your pieces up. Now if you use pattern paper, kinda like I showed you in the last video, you're gonna be adding two of these together. So one you're gonna want the flap up and another one you fold you're gonna want the flap down. And I'll show you what I mean when we put them together. Basically you're gonna accordion fold down, up, down, up, down, through the whole thing, okay? You're going to want to do all six sheets, two sheets for each rosette. Okay, so once you have your folds all done, I'm going to set this one aside. You're going to want one pointing down, one flap down, and one flap up to connect them. And I'm going to use a little bit of liquid glue here. Get my light a little bit closer. Hopefully that helped. It's nice and sunny out today, but for some reason it's a little dark in this room. A little bit of liquid glue, and I like to pinch them together on the sides so that I know the two ends are flush and the top, and then just pinch them together. And push down really well. Okay, so those are attached. And then you're going to take these two ends and attach them together. One flap down, one flap up. I have to say, I was very disappointed. I've been shopping at Michael's for years. 
buying their Recollections Halloween paper and this year they didn't get any in. At my store at least. And I was asking for it and asking for it and they said, oh yeah, we'll get it in, we'll get it in. It still has not come in. I don't think they're planning on getting any. And I actually put a complaint in with, you know, I emailed them. And I'm not one to complain, but I don't know, I kind of feel like they're weeding out the paper crafters and getting more home decor in than, than usual. At least at my store, they are. I don't know about yours, but if you feel the same way and they don't, you know, they're not carrying as many paper craft products, please, please, please email them. Tell them how you feel. Um, it's the only way, you know, that we're going to be able to get our supplies in. Otherwise, we'll have to buy them, you know, at other stores or... Um, online stores and then their prices will eventually go up because you know it'll be in demand and I don't know anyway I did I don't know if it's gonna make a difference one one person so if you're experiencing the same problems please email them and tell them you want your paper <laughs> okay so once you have this attached let it dry a little bit and then what I do is kind of pull the insides down or the outsides down to get that center there and I'm going to just set my glue bottle on top. For this part, I use hot glue, and I have a scallop circle, or you can use a regular circle. This is a one and a half inch scallop. Basically, put hot glue on this, and add it to my center of my rosette, pushing it in a little, pushing in my sides a little bit. We're creating this pretty much like our other rosette in the last video. Except this one I'm actually going to flip around and put another one here. I really don't need to do that because we're going to be putting stuff on top. But I don't know. I just want it a little more secure in there while I'm working. Okay. So we have our first rosette together. You're going to want to put the other two together as well. So you have three. And this rosette basically measures six and a quarter inches around. So for the pattern paper piece, I used a scallop circle that measures about four and a quarter around and I cut a piece of foam out. Now, I use foam tape, adhesive tape. But this stuff is very expensive, especially for large projects. So I pretty much go in the store and I buy sheets of craft foam, just, just these big sheets here. This one's a thin piece that I use for a lot of projects. And then they also have the thicker sheets if you want to bump up your project that much higher and um, it's a lot cheaper to do that and then just use hot glue so just to save yourself some money because this stuff's expensive and I got that tip actually um, it's not my own from my friend Irene at Crafty Irena here on YouTube I know she's really currently not doing any videos but she has some amazing things on her channel you might want to go over and check it out. But thank you for that awesome tip, Irene. It has saved me a ton of money because I love using dimensional, you know, 3D foam. You could use paper, too, and keep folding it up, but this is just so much easier for me. So I cut a piece of foam, put it on the back, and then add more hot glue to this side. And you're going to want to center it in that rosette. And then my next rosette measures three and a quarter inches. And then what I did is I have this spider web embossing folder. So I ran them all through that. And then very lightly, I took my um, Distress Ink Black Soot and very lightly I rubbed my ink pad across the top here 
just to kind of bring out the webbing and then I ran it all around the edge. Oh, and also I did forget a step here. I'm going to have to pull this paper back. I used my white ink stays on and I went over my scallops, the ends here, which I can still do. I just have to pull my paper back. You're going to want to do that first before you add your scallop, but there I was talking and forgot what step I was on. Sorry about that. And then I also did my edges. Okay. There we go. Get that done. And then I have another piece of foam that I cut. I'm going to put on the back of this because I really want a lot of dimension in the scallop circle. And then I'm going to center that with this orange one here. And really, you could do these any theme. There's, um, if you go into Pinterest, there are a ton of rosette ideas for rosette wreaths, rosette wall decor. People are doing them for Christmas, Thanksgiving, all kinds of shapes and, and sizes. So definitely go on and get yourself some inspiration if you, uh, you know, want to try the different holidays. So like these two, the next step I did was my lettering. And the lettering, I used the Vampire Font from Happy Hauntings Cricut Cartridge. And I sized my letters at two inches. And then there's that foam tape that I use. It's just so much easier to use the tape on projects that are this small instead of cutting little pieces. But like I said, when you have big projects, so much easier to buy the sheets of foam and just use hot glue. Saves you so much money. And, you know, gives you the same effect. Peeling the backing off of these things is... Going to uh, oh I got it <laughs> okay so now we're gonna want to center our letter okay and like this one I went ahead and I put like a black glitter on the outside of each scallop and then on the inside I did orange and I did the same thing here and I'll go ahead and do that with this one but for time purposes. I'm just going to show you how to attach it to your ribbon. And then, like I said, I use these little um, confetti decorations. Purchase these at Walmart. Um, they have some this year, but some of these I still had from last year. 98 cents for 24 pieces. You can't go wrong. And then I used a foam witch's hat I had in my stash. I also decorated them with some of these spiders, which I'll do later. But for right now, I'm gonna show you how to attach it to the ribbon and to finish it off so that it looks nice, especially if you're gonna gift it or maybe sell some of these. And I got these rings um, from a friend of mine and I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with them, but I thought, oh, this will be perfect to make a hanger. They do open. You don't need to use these. If you don't have metal O-rings or these rings in your possession, you could use a pipe cleaner. Very inexpensive. And I'll show you how to make a hanger. Okay. Just want to cut a piece of this off. Okay, this is a Chanel stem or a pipe cleaner. And I'll show you how to make it when we attach it to our ribbon, which we're going to do right now. Okay. For this part, I have my ribbon. 
I cut my ribbon piece at 25 inches. And for the top part here, it's nicely finished. I'm going to want to bend it in half, put my ring in here, bend it down, maybe about an inch, and then I'm going to add hot glue in here to seal it up. And this is going to be my hanger. Now, if you didn't have this metal hanger, you could do the same thing. Okay. Twist your end and then maybe flatten it. Put it through the ribbon. And then try and make that as nice as you can in the O and then glue it down there. So very inexpensive way to make yourself a hanger or you could use these, which I wanted to use up because I had them. So I'm just gonna put it in there and then add a little bit of hot glue. And this ribbon is an inch wide. It's not really, really wide. Okay, so that's the hanger part. I'm going to lay it out, and then for the bottom, I'm basically going to fold it in half, and I'm going to cut my little banner piece out, like that. Okay, that's going to be the bottom, my little tail. And then I'm going to want to lay this out, and I want to leave enough room up here for the bow and I'll show you in a minute. But we're basically gonna put hot glue on the back of this and we're gonna lay these on. But before you glue, you definitely want to lay them on your ribbon and kind of space them out. I was doing like a finger, you know, put a finger in between kind of thing so you could see a little bit of the orange ribbon through but that's pretty much up to you guys. And then I'm gonna turn this over. I like the way that looks. I'm gonna add glue in the center here. And I'm gonna lay that right about there and press. This looks pretty good right here. I'm gonna flip it over. Lay that down and press and then I'll show you how to finish off the back so that it looks nice and you won't see any glue globs as I call them. I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to do the same thing here for the bottom one. Sorry I couldn't get it all on camera today guys. It's a long project. And I'm going to lay that down there. And pretty much the space I have here is the same amount I have up top. And then what I have left is a nice little tail. Okay. Then what you're going to want to do is flip it over. And then where you see all the scallops, as you can see, you can see blobs of hot glue. I hate seeing that, especially if you're selling them for craft shows. You really want to finish your pieces off. You don't, pe customers don't like to see that. So I'm going to take another scallop. I'm going to put hot glue on this. And I'm just going to line it up with the other scallops as best I can and press over it. Okay, so now you can see that's nice and finished. You can't see any hot glue, you know, poking out. It looks much nicer than that. So I'm gonna go through and do that to these as well. <coughs> Pardon me. And then I did glue my ribbon down a little bit. And I'll show you how I did that. And then we're gonna make our bow. And then you could just decorate it however you'd like. Like I said, these would look really cute for any 
theme any holiday really fall Christmas you could do so much with these um, rosettes for wall decor and they make perfect gifts too because you know you could send these in the mail you just have to kind of fold them up and there you go but oh and another tip if you're selling them at craft shows see all these big glue strings you might not see them but I do definitely pick those off your projects um, people don't want to see those either okay so I'm going to start at the top and I basically pull my ribbon back and I don't put hot glue the whole way but I put it up about an inch and a half and I lay it back down and I just kind of smooth it out this way it doesn't make it too wonky we're actually kind of adhering some of the ribbon down onto the rosette so it doesn't fling around too much we're going to do the same thing here about an inch and a half up the ribbon and just kind of flatten that out onto the rosette I will definitely clean my glue strings off later we're going to do that to let's see this one right here oh let me get another glue stick put it in there we go and like I said an inch and a half to two inches you don't want to go too far because you do have some ribbon that is going to show and you don't want to have glue globs on that and just flatten it out okay this one is still needs some glue here and I'm gonna flop it down and then this piece same thing out an inch and a half of glue flop that back over and smooth it out and then the tail here and then we're done with that and we're ready to make our bow So really you're only putting glue about to this end of the rosette on each one which is good you don't want to put it all the way out and then have it you know some of the glue stick out so that's what the back looks like it's nice and finished we're gonna flip it over this way and we're gonna want to add our ribbon up here our bow so for my bow, I measured about 18 inches and pretty much all I do is stick it in my hand like this and I create two loops, bring those two loops together and pull. Now you're going to have it where it's looking like that. You're going to want to twist this, make that a little bit tighter. Play around, pull, until you get it pretty much where you want it. I think that's going to look pretty good. You make the loops a little bit smaller. I don't want a giant bow here. Okay, and then I'm just going to trim off some excess but about 18 inches makes you a pretty decent bow and you're not losing too much yeah I like that that's gonna look cute so I'm just gonna add hot glue to the back here fair bit and I'm gonna glue it right here to the ribbon not the rosette but right above the rosette on the ribbon there and I'll show you a close-up in a second 
And you could put something in the center of your bow if you really want to finish it off nicely and all that. Okay, I'm going to show you. It's on the ribbon, but it's right here above the rosette which I may go in and actually add a little bit more glue in there to hang it. But that's it, guys. That is our rosette um, banner wall decor. And then I'm just going to go in and start decorating it with some spiders. I'm going to hot glue some spiders on and some confetti, and we'll see how it goes. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I hope you have fun creating yours. Happy crafting!